Interesting facts about famous people. Clint Eastwood is Dirty Harry. Guidelines. One of Clint Eastwood's most iconic roles. Police car. San Francisco Please police inspector, before. Dirty Harry Callahan. Well, Dirty Harry was a commercial and critical success and created a style for a whole genre of police films, followed by four sequels, 1973's Magnum Force, 1976's The Enforcer, 1983's Sudden Impact, and finally 1988's The Deadpool. These films were selected for preservation in the United States National Film Registry by the Library of Congress in 2012 as historically, culturally, and aesthetically significant. Today we will look at some of the more memorable scenes and listen to some of the more famous catchphrases, quotes, and moments. So let's take a look at Clint Eastwood as Dirty Harry. shots or only five. Well, to tell you the truth in all this excitement, I kind of lost track myself. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Arguably, Clint Eastwood's Dirty Harry is his signature role. However, he wasn't the first choice for the part. The role of Harry Callahan was first offered to Frank Sinatra and John Wayne, even later to Robert Mitchum, Steve McQueen and Burt Lancaster. Also later, George C. Scott claimed that he was initially offered the role, but the part's violent nature convinced him to turn it down. As the producer, Jennings Lang, couldn't find someone to take the Callahan role, he ended up selling the film rights to ABC Television. ABC wanted to make it into a television film, but for the violence in the script, was seen as excessive for television, so the rights were sold to Warner Brothers. The screenplay was eventually brought to Eastwood's attention in 1969 by Jennings Lane. Warner Brothers offered him the part while still in post-production for his directorial debut film, Play Misty for Me. By December 1970, Warner Brothers announced that Clint Eastwood would star in and produce the film through his company, Malpaso. Eastwood was given a number of scripts, but he ultimately reverted to the original as the best vehicle for him. He said, I'm only interested in the original script. They said, OK, do what you want. So we went on and made it. That, as they say, is history. At first, the film caused controversy sparking questions over issues from police brutality to victims' rights and the practice of law enforcement. During the 44th Academy Awards, feminists protested outside the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion, holding banners that read messages like, Dirty Harry is a rotten pig. Critics praised Eastwood as Dirty Harry, describing his performance as his best so far. Tough, tense, full of implicit identification with his character, also praising Eastwood's performance in the film. It's a pleasure watching Eastwood do what he does and do it so well. 
A critic gave the film 3 out of 4 stars, saying it was very effective as a thriller, but denouncing its morals as fascist. Another gave the film a full 4 out of 4 stars, praising it as one of the greatest police thrillers in motion picture history, but he also thought that the film's message was dangerous. Yet another wrote, what makes Dirty Harry watchable, no matter how stupid the story, is the superb sense of the city, not as a place of moods, but as a theatre for action. A generation later, Dirty Harry is now regarded as one of the best films of 1971. As tough and taciturn as its no-nonsense hero, Dirty Harry delivers a deceptively laid message without sacrificing an ounce of its solid action impact. If you like this video, take a look at some of my others. By all means, drop me your comments and suggest who you'd like to see a video on. Thanks for your time. Bye for now. Thank you for watching, please subscribe.